Benjamin Franklin is such a fascinating person. It was a few years ago, I was traveling to Florida with our family and I was looking for an audible book to listen to instead of podcasts when I was there. And I was like, you know what? I've never really researched the founding fathers or read much about them. I'll download this 25 hour audible. Oh my goodness. I was trying to, I was like, I'll go do laundry so I could listen to this book longer. Benjamin Franklin is so fascinating. But the reason why he is so fascinating is because like every 15 years, he's a totally different human. This man has covered so many different genres. It's crazy. Let me tell you a little bit about him. He was a politician. He was an editor. He was a shopkeeper. He was a diplomat. He was an inventor. He was a scientist. And it's not like he just tried a bunch of different things. Like he succeeded in all of those things and made huge impact in every single field. There are a couple of key points that I thought as I was even listening to this book. I started Organized 365 in 2012 as a blogger and so that I know when you document things into blogs or into the written word that the written word travels. And Benjamin Franklin had printing presses and he you know, was responsible for newspapers and he set up libraries. And so I was thinking to myself, I thought, is Benjamin Franklin as amazing as appears in this book? Or is it just because he's the only person that was writing his thoughts down? Like, we know a lot about what Benjamin Franklin did and thought because he wrote it all down. And most historians, when we look back at historical figures that we know the most about, it's because they kept a diary or someone else wrote their story down while it was occurring. So that was an interesting takeaway that I had, like, what are you writing down to pass on to the next generation? And it's almost like if you didn't write it down, did it happen? <laughs> that was one of the things that I thought that we know a lot about Benjamin Franklin because he was so good at writing things down and also selling himself in the media as well. Benjamin Franklin lived to be 84 years old. And like I said, he reinvented himself so many times. It, it was fascinating to me how many different circles and, and completely unrelated like scientists versus a politician versus a writer those those are very different personality types yet he was successful in all of them and one of the things I'm always trying to figure out what have the greats done in the past and what can I pull out of those and do in my own life and one of the things I noticed early on was that he had a mastermind now, a mastermind, that term has been made popular by Napoleon Hill in the early 1900s. And again, in the online community space, for sure, the one that I'm in, I don't know about the one that you're in, having these masterminds of people is a really popular thing. So when I read about it back in his day that he created a mastermind, I thought, oh, there's really something to this match mastermind idea. It was called the Gento, and he had people from all different industries in his mastermind. So when he would throw out an idea, he would get perspectives from all these different industries and he was hearing great ideas from all these different industry leaders. Some of them were really well known. There are also people in that mastermind that I would suspect rose to higher status from just being around those people. So I thought that was really, really interesting. Um, and then the other thing that I have heard in this, and now I'm currently listening to the book Hamilton, is this idea of France. So often today, I don't hear much about France. Growing up as a child, I didn't learn much about France at school that I remember very much. But when I listen to all of these stories about the founding fathers, the French really did help us win the American Revolution. Like if it weren't for the French, we probably would not be the United States. And not only then, but as you travel on further into the founding of America in the early years, France was very influential. Um, Benjamin Franklin was a diplomat to France, and so he talked about that a lot. As I'm listening in this book, Hamilton, I'm finding out uh, more about France and the war and things like that. And so one of the things that I want to dive into next year is learning the history of the relationship of America with France, because it's not something that I've researched before. Okay, so I hope that this has intrigued you a little bit about Benjamin Franklin. He truly is the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. Give him a day. He'll change everything he's doing, yet he still rises to the top. If you'd like to hear more book reviews like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I'll be back next Monday.